Hello everyone, it's me, and I look like I just woke up, but nuh uh. My mom used to have this friend named Kathy, and Kathy was a liar. Like, she'd just lie about all kinds of stupid stuff, so you never knew what she was saying if it was like true or just a fabrication of something that she was pulling out of the air. Like, one time she was talking to my mom and I, and she said that she was dating this guy and he was wanting to really impress her because he loved her so much. So he had three of these men that worked for him and these three guys were all in a line. And one guy went this way, one guy went this way, and one guy walked down the middle. And the guy walking down the middle was carrying this beautiful, huge plant. And the guys on either side had their arms stretched out like this and hanging on both of their arms were clothes hangers attached to beautiful new clothing and my mom's like oh my god Kathy how wonderful that's just so great and I'm like Kathy you're lying and then they just giggled but I'm like totally like why are you lying I'm gonna call you out Kathy could step outside on the front porch to make a phone call and she would come back in saying, oh, you're not going to believe this, but a car full of men just stopped by and blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, Kathy, you're lying because I was looking out the window spying on you. That didn't happen. She was just so stupid, but she was classy from where I came from because not only did she have highlights, but she also had low lights, which means you're practically royalty but far from it so this one day kathy and her living boyfriend they got into this huge argument and kathy ended up storming off and she went to the bar where she downed a lot of drinks and she ended up getting drunk and driving and she got pulled over by the police and put in jail Aunt kathy's in jail uh, you're not my aunt. But anyway, they also impounded her, uh, Dodge Neon, so she was without a car, and she got released from jail, and my mom, you know, being friends with her, she's like, Kathy, why don't you just come here, because I know you're having a lot of trouble with your, uh, living boyfriend, so just come here, and you can figure things out. You know, she was there for a couple of days, and it was just getting really hectic because she she wouldn't leave you alone. Like, you'd get up and go into the other room because she just wouldn't shut the hell up. And just telling all these different stories that you knew weren't true. And she had, like, like a miniature spiral notebook, the kinds that open like this. Like, you know, a detective might have where they're like, okay now tell me what this guy looked like and in the notebook she'd like write shit down that she wanted to do because she took so much um medicine that she would forget things so she'd write down i want to go to this store i want to go to that store i didn't know it at the time and neither did my mom but um kathy was going down to like the grocery store and she was Dealing the uh, those packages of pre-cooked bacon slices, and she was just putting them down her pants, down her shirt, in her purse, and what she did with all that bacon, I don't know. But Kathy was a thief. Okay, so it's not like we were like, oh, Kathy, you're awesome stuff. It's like. Kathy, we like you a whole lot. We just don't know a whole lot about you, but <laughs> that awkward laugh, that's the relationship we all had with Kathy. So one day after Kathy's been there for a couple of days, my mom, she gets annoyed too. So she goes, I'm leaving. And I'm like, well, where are you going? And she's like, I'm going to go see some friends of mine for a little while. And just like hang out with them. Um, you can hang out with Kathy here. And I'm like, I don't wanna hang out with Kathy. So while my mom was gone, Kathy was reading the newspaper and she found like 
an apartment that she wanted to go look at. So she asked if I would take her because Kathy did not have a car. She wasn't about to walk there because Kathy had really short legs. So she couldn't walk very far because she was lazy and she was on like uh, benzodiazepine constantly. So it wouldn't have been safe anyway. She might have like tripped on the railroad tracks and then like fallen asleep or something and then a train come by and like cut her in the stomach and she'd have to go to the hospital. At least that's the story that she would tell everyone afterwards when in fact none of it would have happened. So I take her to this apartment and it's like the top floor of this house and the house looks like it's totally abandoned and it's, it just does not look good at all. It's like overgrown with shrubs and weeds and all that and the yard isn't mowed and any of that. So we go upstairs and you know, I go with her cause I'm really into like seeing stuff like that. And it's just like a total dump. And she's like, well, what do you think? And I'm like, Kathy, this place is a dump. And she's like, I know. So like we're leaving, you know, because you, you don't want to see any more of that. Like it's, it's a bedroom, a kitchen, a living room and a bathroom. There's nothing more to see. So as we're leaving, Kathy starts flirting with this landlord that's showing her the apartment and he looks like trash, like total trash, like a redneck. Hold my beer, honey. I gotta go make some bigot remarks for a minute, like that kind of guy. And she's just totally flirting with him, getting all sexual. So I'm like, Kathy, I'm gonna go get in the car. And she's like, okay, hon. So I go get in the car and I'm just sitting there and I kind of see her walking my way. So I start the car and I put it in um, what I think's reverse, but it's actually drive. And I take my foot off the brake. And as I do, I see this huge, I'm talking huge ass woman and man walking in front of my car as it's moving. And I'm like, holy shit. So I have to slam on the brakes. I almost hit the, the I, I almost hit this person and her other person. I almost hit them both. I came like this close. So I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And the they didn't even say anything. Like the big woman, she just goes like that. And I'm like, blow it out your freaking ass lady i said i was sorry so needless to say like kathy did not get that apartment and i did not kill people that day but i narrowly did kathy also didn't um hook up with that guy that i know of and she ended up just moving back with her boyfriend but Kathy did go on to tell a lot of other really big and awesome lies that I couldn't even come up with. Like, she told people that she had um, colon cancer. And my mom goes, well, <laughs> what, Kathy? That is awful. And, like, she's totally buying it. And I'm not buying it at all because... It didn't happen, and my mom found out a year or so later that Kathy had totally lied about having cancer. I don't know why she lied, but whatever. Kathy, I don't know where you are today, but I hope that you're alive. That's all that I have to say, and it was real, Kathy. You are so cool. Just kidding, but needless to say, I admire you for one thing. And that's having not only a rockin' base hair color, but also having highlights and lowlights. Which I know you didn't have the last time I saw you because your hair was 100% roots. Except for this much on the bottom. It was all cut like, like crap. Like it had broken off. And Kathy had probably gained 75 pounds because she ate a whole lot of bacon probably thank you all so much for watching and i will see you again soon in my next video and remember i love all of you and thanks for watching